Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is testing Tuesday. <laughs> that means that we're going to be trying some different products tonight that I have not tried. This is actually a product that I purchased on Amazon um, with my own money. So hashtag not sponsored. Um, called castle art acrylic paints um it's a set of 12 uh 75 milliliters which i do believe is right around two ounces but don't quote me on that um but before we do that i would like to introduce my love my darling my executive producer mr michael sean carter thank you very much and thank you for being with us for testing Tuesday. We are so glad you are here. Yeah. So we are going to check out Castle Art. And, you know, I, I love that guy on there. I'm thinking of uh, like, <laughs> so yeah, that uh, he looks got, a little, he looks a little patriarchal. Um, excuse me. Do you, do you have Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> you better let yeah, him out. Better let him out. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So last week, which um, for you guys on replay, I will put the link in the little art card here. Um, we did a pour with general finishes, milk paint and chalk paint. And I love the effects in this painting. I'm just not real keen on the colors, but we did it in mix and mix gives you these like super fantastic uber sharp lines and i love that you don't get that with flow troll usually um you can get a few that are sharp but they get a little fuzzy around the edges so um it's just one of those things where well geez i heard the badink what is that we want to thank Megan Moyer. Megan, you are awesome. You are awesome. Thank you. Super sticker. So much for the super sticker. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But we did these. I get all good. I get all like emotional when someone gives me a super chat. <laughs> it's like I'm doing something right. Yay! <laughs> but um, I, I just don't really love it. I, I like it, but I think it's the colors. And there's parts I really love, but most of it is like, okay, we're going to pour over it. So I've got that all ready to go. Um, I'm going to put it down here, though, um, so we can get our paints started. So tonight I'm going to be using the Castle Arts Viridian and the Castle Arts Aquamarine, which I already mixed up. And I had to mix this uh, three to one and my pouring medium is 70-30 Floetrol to glue. So um, that's my pouring medium that I'm using tonight. And we're also going to be using Alizarian Crimson, um, again, from Castle Art. And just because I'm me, I got to throw in some Sterling Silver from Deco Art and some Unbleached Titanium White from Liquitex Basics. Got those all mixed up, but I wanted really quick to show you um i'm really kind of i'm really impressed with the color selection you get this nice box um and you get these cool little cards uh universal color system and it kind of goes through their different products and their different things um and it gives you a little tutorial on how to do basic acrylic painting with like a brush so it's kind of nice that they do that. Um, so we've got titanium white, lemon yellow, cobalt blue, emerald green, lamp black. And it comes in these little trays. And yellow ochre, vermilion, burnt sienna, and raw umber. So if any of you are new to the channel, <clears throat> you do not know my penchant for purple. And yes, I realize I can mix my own purple. But there's something about the violet like the Liquitex Basics Violet, um, Dioxazine Purple. They're, they're like true shades of purple and some are transparent. And with that being said, these do not tell you their opacity on them. They do not tell you the color fastness on them. So for a beginner's set, I would say this is good for beginners. But if you are looking for more detailed information from your paints, 
Um, it does not say on the bottle. Have I checked their website? No, I haven't gotten that far yet. I am going to be testing the same product in mixed pouring medium next week. So I will hopefully have some more information for you from these guys directly to let you know more about their product. For now, I'm going to move this box out of the way. Um, the other thing that I did not like is I... Um, like to see the foil seals. I There is no foil seals on any of these paints. So who knows how long they've been sitting around. Um, they haven't been dry. They're still very, very fluid. So um, I'm grateful for that. But I always feel better when there's a foil seal on them. Um, one thing is, is they are very thick. And I'm going to try and show you guys this <clears throat> while I'm squeegeeing out seven tenths of an ounce you can see that i'm getting a nice it's a nice thick paint so i i would say this would be almost a heavy body paint almost it's like one it's just a tish off but a bump so let's get because I got two ounces of Floetrol in there, or 2.1 ounces of Floetrol in there, and I'm putting in seven tenths of an ounce, and this is all by weight um, um, of paint in there, and it's going to give me a very strong trace of three. So I will show you that here in a moment. I'm going to stir this up. Let me get the scale out of the way. Let me turn this off. <clears throat> if you do not have a scale in your studio, don't worry about it. I have become uh, dependent on my scale because I can't eyeball something unless I'm cooking. I can, you know, measure out in my hand and, and all of that. So, um, but it mixes up really nice. Um, it disperses nicely. Um, the colors wet are very vivid. And bright, I mean, that's a nice, a very nice red. And um, so these, like I said, these would be a good um, beginner paint. Or if you add silicone to mythicone um, oils of any kind into your paint to get cells, this would probably be a good paint for that. I am a lazy artist and I don't want to have to wash my painting before I seal it. So I don't use any of that. I follow the science. Okay, so while I'm layering my cup, we're gonna do <clears throat> we're just gonna do a straight pour. I've got some gray, dark gray background here, um, dark gray for the background. So while I'm getting my cup ready, Michael, will you let me know who's in chat? Absolutely. Well, we always want to say thank you to our moderators. Cheryl Doris for all that they do. Please thank our mods. They are outstanding and we love them so, so much. So thank you to Cheryl and Doris. And in the chat tonight, goodness gracious, we've got the usual suspects. Julie is here, clearly painting with Julie E. Hey, Julie. Hello, hello. I see Leche Bote is here. That is Linda. Hello, Linda. As we discussed earlier, Megan Moyer is here. And thank you, Megan, once again for that super chat. There is Mo. Moan is here. Art flow by Mo. Hello, Mo. Mary Lou's here. Hey, Mary Lou. Glad you're here. And we see Ginger is here. Hello, Ginger. She says, hi, everyone. And then let's see. Taking a look, I see the McDivitts are here from North Carolina. Tony and Diane. Hey, Tony and <laughs> Diane. They hey, say cousins. hello to everyone. Yeah, like we haven't heard from them today over and over again. <laughs> they have oh, been we... talking about this gas shortage that's been going on. There's some crazy gas lines going on. Gas stations shutting down, so on and so forth. Big news, something to talk about. Uh, Mel's here, Mel Firestone. Hello, Mel. Glad you're here. There's Blair Moyer. Hey, Blair, glad you're here. One of the uh, rib original tribe. Yes, yes, yes. And let's see. Who else do we have in the chat tonight? The one and the only Lady Mist. Hello, Lady Mist. So glad you are here. Thank you. Thank you. 
And there she is, Resin Heaven Studios, Sue Ashworth from Down Under. Hello, Sue. Good day, Sue. Oh, my goodness. She just <laughs> loves doing that. <laughs> I suck at it, but I like I like trying. At and least you're, I'm you're trying. Doing great, you're doing a great job. Doing good. <laughs> and there's the one and only Elisa. Hello, Elisa. Welcome, welcome. And let's see. Anyone else I left out? I think I got everybody. You got everybody? If I missed you, just say, hey, Michael, what about me? And yes. we will give you a shout out. Most certainly. Michael's usually pretty good, though. Not really. Nah. I think so. Some days. Most days. Oh, I heard the beep again. Absolutely. Look at that. Lady Mist. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Super sticker. Yay! You are the best. I really appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the Artist Haven. I love Super... I, I, you know, I, I, I always said that I wasn't going to monetize the channel, and then I'm like, well, you know what? All, all the money that you all give me is, it goes straight in back into buying more canvases, more paint, more flow troll. Everything, everything that I earn goes right back into the channel, paying for StreamYard, paying, you know, all these things. So every time you, you know, do a super chat or become a member, it, it just helps me create more stuff for you guys. So I appreciate it. And when you do that, it lets me know that I'm doing something right. And for me, that's a, that's a huge, huge thing. And I appreciate it more than I could ever say. Yeah. And, you know, we appreciate all of you just being here, participating, um, you know, subscribing, hitting that thumbs up that just that that makes it all worthwhile. And and thank you. And Lady Mist, I tell you what, hey, that is a cool sticker. So. Don't be sorry. Be glad. I mean, I think it's awesome. So thank you so much. And yeah, I mean, what about the whole aspect of the pipelines and hackers and the uh, the group that is known as, as Dark Side that was hacking in? Wow, that's some crazy stuff. But you know what? We're Americans. We'll persevere. That's right. So, hey. And just stay home. Don't go driving. Yeah, just it's like, you know, honestly, <laughs> I don't go very, very much, so it's not really going to affect me. It is going to affect my deliveries, though, and that kind of perturbs me a little bit. But, you know, I, I'm just like, you know what, dudes? Do what you will. I think we've weathered through so much as a nation, as a world, that, you know, it's, yeah. it's just all about patience and consideration for each other. Wow. Hey, look at this. Another super sticker, Janice. Janice, thank you so much. You are awesome, awesome. She says, I appreciate you. Janice Pittman, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes, I, you guys are going to make me cry. Like, really. Outstanding. <laughs> good, good I stuff. was talking with one of my, my um, non-art friends. She's a f fellow creator on YouTube. And... Um, we were, she has a video about imposter syndrome and, and all this. And I was kind of talking with her about that a while back and kind of mentioned it today on, you know, you, you, you get to feeling like you're not, you're not good enough. You're not, you know, you're, you're, you shouldn't be doing this because you're just pretending and you're pretending to be someone you're not, or you're pretending, you know, you think, you know, no one's going to like your stuff. And then, you know, then you just start doing it and finding out how much you really are appreciated and and loved. And and it's not just monetarily wise. It's just you guys coming here and and sharing out the videos and and, you know, doing all the things that you guys do to to help each other out. Because that's what the Artist Haven really, truly is, is is helping other artists out and convincing people to make a YouTube channel, which is one of the things that I'll be focusing on next month. Um, so I have lots of stuff up my sleeve, guys. It's a good thing I got short sleeves on tonight. Ha ha ha. Anyway. <laughs> well, it's that time of the year. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I'm really kind of frustrated because the paintings that I've done the last two days have all dried all crackly because it's been so cold and humid and the paint's drying all wonky. So it's a little frustrating to me. It's like, okay, bring on the heat, please, because I at least know when it's going to, how it's going to dry. So. Hmm. Megan says, I have the voice of a radio DJ. Hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> totally confused. <laughs> Oh, considering he, you know, I don't know. Grew I don't know. up. Hey, at a, at you know TV what? Stadium? We talked about some trivia. <laughs> I mentioned it in the chat. Um, music. So, how about we do a little eighties hair band? How about, <laughs> Here we how go. about something like that? Michael's favorite topic. Yep. Okay. Music, music, and Star Trek. There, you ever want to get you know, him talking? <laughs> I like science fiction. I am a nerd. When you know, hey, I didn't get to go anywhere because I didn't have a car. So, yeah. That was a different time. All right. So, are we ready to do this? I need a sip of my beverage. All right. Here we go. Are we ready, Michael? Let's do it. Are we ready? Are we sure? Okay. Here we go. And the reason why I do straight pours is because I want to see how it blends with other colors of its own brand and of other brands. And that silver. Everybody goes on about the Deco Art 24 karat gold, and it is my favorite gold. I, I do like that one and the one from Porridge Posse. But silver will always have my heart. You know what? Julie makes a good point. 80s hair band, that is Brooke, Brookie Cookie's favorite. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're we're gonna wait. We're gonna we're gonna change it up because Brooke loves '80s hair band yes. stuff, and she's not here. So let's let's go with the '70s. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to do the '70s. Oh, good Seven, <laughs> '70s is a great the era 70s. of music. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. You, even Diane and Tony should be able to get this. Oh, hey. Okay. In 1970s, in 1970, the group, the Jackson 5, had four number one hits on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart. Which single was their first chart topper? The first number one for the Jackson 5. That was before I was mm. born, so. <laughs> I <don't. laughs> Me, I was into the monkeys, so. I like the monkeys too, but I watched them at Nick on Nickelodeon. <laughs> I've got I've got a few LPs. Okay, there's a bluebird in here, so I need to take out. Okay, my... so let's see. Oh, there's Jeff B. Hey, Jeff B. Hail Jeff. Hail Jeff. Okay, so Janice says ABC123, Blair, Jeff, Julie, Doris, all saying ABC123. Uh, no. uh, wrong. No. No, nope, that's not it. Um, that is not it. Oh, uh, why can't I think now, of that, it? That was a number one. Number one, but which one was the first chart topper? At I wrecked it a little bit. I'm, I'm feeding my inner Mina. <laughs> Mina would be proud. Oh, there we go. Cheryl got it. Ginger got it. Very good. I want you back. That's it. First number one for the Jackson 5. Okay, this is kind of trippy. Megan says, I'll be there. That's a good one. Ooh, I always ben, think of I remember Michael Ben. That's a great song. I always think of Michael Jackson. And when I think of Michael Jackson, I think of Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. That's like my favorite Michael Jackson song. 
Yeah, that's that's that's, that's like solo. totally that's solo Michael. That's solo Michael. That's but the Jackson Five or yeah, it's like, like the Jackson Five and the Osman brothers. The Os the Osman Osmonds, brothers. Yeah, they were kind of they were like, brothers, so brother yeah, and sister. They were well, they were real life brothers, and so were the Jacksons. The Osmonds were brother and sister, weren't they? Well, Marie, Marie was a sister, but the rest of them were brothers. Well, it was Donnie yeah. and Marie. They had the, the, yeah. the show. Yeah, Marie on. was just the one sister, and you had... Um, oh, that's right. They had the show with had, the brothers yeah. first. But, uh, yeah. There's a gloop in my paint again. God bless it. Hang on, I need a, I need a towel. Yeah, Michael had a really good solo career, so... Michael and Randy and Tito and um, Jermaine. Janet and Latoya. <laughs> <laughs> I only know the girls. Hmm. Okay, I don't like this right here. Yeah, that's, that's true. Janice is right. Osmonds were way before Donnie Murray. Yeah. yeah, I know, but that's all like, I remember because uh, I had an uh, I had a Donnie and Marie doll. I had a Donnie doll and a Marie doll. So, okay, here here's a trivia question for everyone dealing with the seventies. Someone in the chat that um, I'm related to, her name is Diane. <laughs> Tell me who her favorite seventies. Artist is favorite solo artist. Oh, solo! Because I was gonna artist. say, B I was gonna say, Bee Gees. Favorite solo artist like, of the seventies. She just seems like a Bee Gees person to me. <laughs> but then again, I like the Bee Gees. So this this will be, this will be a tough trivia question, <laughs> and no help from the peanut gallery. Okay, <laughs> Engelbert Hunkberdink. <laughs> it is not. Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> I just like saying it. It, it is not Donny Osmond. And it is not Keith Partridge. Or David Cassidy. David there we Cassidy, go. Yeah. It's not David Cassidy. But good, good, good. We've got good some choice. really good pictures are, of Diane know, from good, when she was younger. Um, Helen Reddy? No. Nope. Donna Summers? No. Dolly Parton. Wow, Jeff. <laughs> yep, that, maybe maybe that's your favorite. Hey, uh, Dolly's awesome. Hmm. Barry Manilow. Good, good answer, Megan. That is not correct. But, you know, hey, I, I like me some Barry Manilow. I do. Uh, Ginger says the Stones. No, not the Stones. Not David Cassidy. Leaf Garrett. Wow, Janice. Great answer. No, that is incorrect. Sorry. Mel. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm sorry, Mel Firestone, Leaf Garrett. No, I'm sorry. Doobie Brothers. Hmm. No, not the Doobie Brothers. Andy Gibb. Good, good choice. Uh, good try, but not Andy Gibb. No, no, it's a solo artist, not not a group, not not ABBA, not the Eagles. And Diane is going. Oh my goodness, people. <laughs> Uh, Neil Diamond. Was, uh, no. That was going to be my guess. Neil Diamond is a great choice, and love me some Neil Diamond. There is nothing better than karaoke Neil Diamond. But uh, Jacqueline Rosie. Elisa, the question is, within the chat, Diane has a favorite 70s artist, favorite 70s solo artist, and we're trying to guess who it is. Barry Manilow is not correct. No, <laughs> she does kind of seem like a Barry. Julie Manilow says kind. Bob Dylan. Um, I hey, I love Bob Ozzie. Dylan. Not correct. No, but he wasn't. He wasn't a solo artist back then. He was but, a Bob um, Sabbath. I just I, I, I'm trying to think of something. Megan way says share. I'm going to give a hint. It is a guy. It is a it is a male solo artist. <laughs> so it is not Janis Joplin. Ooh, that's a good choice. Diane, you know, Diane and Tony. That's, that's, uh, it's 
Diane's family has its privileges. <laughs> but of course, anybody who wants to come, Diane here in the chat. Yep, that Diane. Hang out yep, with that's me. That's my cousin. Hmm, Jim Croce. That is a great choice. <clears throat> I'm trying to but think of that who is was... incorrect. Not Jim uh, Jim Croce, but I do love I love playing Jim Croce on the guitar. Yes, you do. Yeah, and Harry you do Cha well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Harry Chapin, another great artist. No, Rick Springfield. Rick Springfield. I, I, I think he was more. 80s, I think he was born he? in the seventies. No, I, I don't, I don't think he was. Um, I don't think Rick Springfield was was. Jimi Hendrix is a great choice. Love me some Hendrix. Uh, no, and it is not Michael Jackson. Uh, Elton John. Ooh, great answer, but incorrect. No, and Diane has said in the chat. This guy's a hunk, total hunk. Good Lord. Mm. Uh, Tom Jones. Tom Jones is an excellent answer. I love doing Tom Jones karaoke, but no, that is <laughs> not the see, correct answer. I, I can I, see Diane swooning over Tom Jones, Oh, though. my goodness, Tom Jones. <laughs> I just can. <laughs> um, Peter Gabriel. Um, he no. was in Genesis back in the 70s. Yeah, I, but... Um, <clears throat> not David Bowie, but a great answer. David Bowie is a just a wonderful, wonderful. He's phenomenal, or was phenomenal. Wait, wait a minute. Say. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, Linda. What did you just say, Linda? Linda, can you? I think we may have a winner. Said Bobby Sherman. Who did? Then uh, Linda. Let's Linda, see. did you say Bobby Sherman? I Ginger said, says John said Lennon. Nelson. Who said it though? Mona says Rod Stewart. Linda says uh, Rick Nelson. Linda uh, said, Peter I still Frampton. love Bobby Sherman. No, not Peter Frampton. Stevie Wonder. No, not Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Ricky Nelson, Rick Nelson. Uh, Megan says Tony Orlando. Okay. Yeah. Doris, Doris says Wayne Newton. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, back in the hey, day, I could see it though. He was a, he was a fairly charismatic person. Ricky, Rick, Ricky Nelson. I think uh, Rick Schroeder. Jackson when you guys Brown, say Ricky. James Taylor. Wait, Linda, what what was it that you you said that you loved? Who who did you say that you loved? Ginger saying Van Morrison. Um, yeah. Linda says I love Bobby Sherman. Well, Linda, if you love Bobby Sherman, then you need to be talking to Diane because the answer <laughs> is Bobby Sherman. That's awesome. I don't even know who Bobby Sherman is. <laughs> Bobby Sherman was kind of like the dark side of David Cassidy. <laughs> There's a dark side to David Cassidy. He was, he was the, yeah. <laughs> the correct answer, Bobby Sherman. So congratulations, <laughs> Linda. Diane. Linda, you you win our love and affection. Yes. <laughs> you, you, know, you, someday, you get bragging rights. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Someday we will be able to have you know, give away on these trivia questions. And cause I've actually been going through the old, the old YouTube videos and contemplating some things and doing like encouraging people to go watch the old, old live streams. And so you can answer trivia questions about the channel. Yeah, Linda's right. Most of those guys that everybody was mentioning were not on TV shows, but I really, I, I don't know who was on. I, you know, I guess a lot of different artists kind of did television because it was kind of an up and coming thing into the 60s and 70s. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but it was also um, kind of the kiss of death, too, because if you did TV, you weren't, you, they didn't think you'd be able to do movies. I don't think they were supposed to be on TV. I think that was just kind of a, kind of a hint. Okay, so we got the pour done, and 
I'm liking these colors. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Megan's saying Sunny Bono. <laughs> Sunny and Cher. Okay, Sunny and Cher, I think. Yeah, now, Julie the Monkeys. Now we're talking. I, I was a huge fan of the Monkeys. Yeah, Mike Nesmith. Here, here's here's something here's something I'm going to share with you. Um, oh, Diane, when she was dating Tony, and when I first saw him, and Tony had these sideburns, <laughs> yes, and they did. looked exactly <laughs> like Mike Nesmith of the Monkees. Mike Nesmith wore that sock hat, that yep. sock toboggan He's hat. My favorite. Yeah, my favorite and uh, and I th the first thing I thought of whenever I met Tony was like, hey, that's that guy looks just like Mike Nesmith of the Monkees. So I thought hey, he's got to be cool. Yeah, Davy Jones, Peter Tork. Here we go. We're going to see if we can make a purple real quick. Sue, Sue's singing the monkeys now in the chat. <laughs> Here we come, walking down the street. I used to watch that at Nick at night. <laughs> That's kind of more of a raspberry than a purple, but that's okay. We will use it in a pour. <clears throat> yeah, Mike Nesmith and, um, yeah, because Peter Tork passed away. Davy Jones passed away. Yep. Um, All right. Here we here go. Here we are. Trying to, like, trying to figure out where I wanted to grab it from. So this is Floetrol, so the lines aren't going to be as sharp as in mix. But, uh-oh. We're having issues with the camera. You want to switch to the other camera real quick on yeah. OBS? It's on your side, babe. Oh, yeah. If you just click on the gray. I didn't see how it split. Oh, we're better. Oh, no, we're not. So if you go to that, well, I'm trying, I'm trying to get the cursor to, there we go. And then just go live stream to, yeah, there we go. There we go. So that camera is working a little better. So you can see we've got the cool lines. We've got good color separation. And it got a little muddy down at the bottom, but I kind of like it that way because the silver kind of mixed in there and that's what's making it muddy. So I'm excited to see it dry. And we've got some cool corners going on. So I'm trying to show it without tipping it too much. Maybe if I bring it down. There we go. Hey, there's an idea. Let's move this cup out of the way. There we go. So... The auto white balance is supposed to be turned off, but it's still doing it. I don't know why. It's ridiculous. Anywho. So next week we're going to be trying this out in mixed pouring medium. We're going to use uh, similar colors. Um, I will be using the unbleached titanium and the deco art sterling silver in that painting as well. And we'll see what kind of results we get. Um, tomorrow night is Artapalooza. Make sure to join us for that um we've got all kinds of great artists that have been on the show throughout its inception um we've even had marcy mixed media girl and eric erica from atd um we've had clara and and sue and doris and krista and if you would like to be part of artapalooza um just message me on facebook um and let me know that you would be interested. Don't worry about the tech part of it. I walk you through all of that. All you need is a phone and a set of earbuds and you're golden. So that's all I got tonight. Are we good? Are we yeah, good, Michael? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's been fun tonight. Yeah. Thanks, I, everyone. I need to go wash up. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting The Haven with your time and your patience. We love you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.